windy day. Hope the uh, audio comes out okay. Uh, Volvo S60R, 2004, P0497 code. The code has to do with the uh, evaporative emissions recirculation or whatever it is. Um, I am suspicious that it's the solenoid, the valve. Uh, 8653908 is the part number. So this is actually an OEM part. And we're gonna go over this here in a, in a minute. But uh, I don't know for sure that that's, that that's it. I've actually replaced this once before. I think it's down under the intake. So now I have to go on an adventure and find that. So the first thing we do is pop this out. This just pops out. My intake is a little bit different um, from everybody else's, so I'm gonna just remove it. But the, um, you have to remove the intake box, I think. Air filter and all this other jazz. I got to remove all this stuff to get down. I think it's under here, but I forget. Now I gotta find the valve. So I'm gonna take you from the side view here, and we're gonna zoom in. There we go. Keep zooming in. And I'm gonna try to go in there with my hand. And show you where it is. right off. Let's see if I can get the vacuum. The, the vacuum hoses don't look like there's any pinches or anything like that. I don't see any breaks in the lines. Every once in a while something goes right. Not often, but every once in a while. So here I've got my power supply set up. 12 volts. and You could use a car battery too. Whatever. Um, but what we want to do is we want to actuate the, uh, the new valve and what you can do is I have my midi vac set up here so bring it up to a few pounds it doesn't have to I mean it's not a high pressure system I don't think so uh, then the negative goes well you can see the negatives here right on this side <coughs> I think <laughs> so you touch the, the positive and you can automatically see this actuate and uh, the pressure goes down. So let's try that on the old one. Actually, we can try it again on the new one. You can hear it as soon as it clicks. As soon as I touch it, you can hear it click. So there's something going on inside the new one, which of course is what you'd expect. So here's the old one, and we're going to hook it up to the midi vac. So same electrical setup, hooked up to the midi vac, pump the vacuum up. So it does hold pressure, more or less, holds pressure pretty good. Let's see if there's anything here. Nothing. So it doesn't actuate. So in fact, we found our problem. So just as an explanation of what's actually going on here, in case you don't know, Think of this as a switch. That's all this is. Um, 
a light switch in your house, you'd flip on and off, and the power for the flipping is your finger. Uh, on this switch, the power for the flipping is 12 volts, probably your car battery. Okay, so when the computer sends a signal, a 12 volt signal here that says, okay, we need more recirculation or whatever it is, then this valve opens. That's all that this does. It's just a valve that opens on a 12 volt trigger. So you apply 12 volts to it and the valve opens. That's the whole idea. And if the valve doesn't open, then it's faulty. Pretty easy to see. So let's head back to the driveway. Let's put this, this in. I'll drive the car around for 60 miles and <laughs> hopefully uh, I'll be able to pass my emissions. So this should be pretty straightforward to put back. Um, this part looks like the hardest. got to put all the intake stuff back together and hopefully you'll be in business. So I'll actually end the video there. Um, now you guys know what to look for and, and where to look for it. If I have any more trouble I'll obviously let you know but I'll reset the codes, drive it around for 60 miles and uh, then see if the codes are indeed cleared and I will make sure to give you an update that it is and that I do pass emissions. But th I would say that that's definitely a positive test that that indeed was the faulty part. Um, so I'm really happy and very confident that that will be the fix in this particular case. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.